Hi peeps. So I hope this is not too close. I feel like sometimes my video, the camera is a little too far. <laughs> I don't know. So I zoomed in some. Hopefully it's not too, too zoomed in. Too close rather. That didn't make sense. Anyway, um, I'm here to share with you my design team journal for Tsunami Rose for the month of November. Um, this journal was um, a little challenging for me because I did a really simple, not that my journals are like fancy, but um, it's like more of a writing journal. So there's no tuck spots or pockets or not a lot of decoration. Um, I kept it really simple for the person who just wants to journal and that's it. <laughs> So um, I realize that there are people out there like that. So I'm going to try to put more um, of those, I guess they're called like blank journals or naked journals um, in my shop. And I have to thank one of my customers for that because um, she ordered two custom blank journals. So I'm going to be um, making those for her and I'm going to put some in the shop as well because I realize that not everybody wants all the bells and whistles as my son would say. So anyway, here we go. So this is using Tsunami Rose um, new Christmas kit, uh, Jane Austen Christmas. Um, I have never done anything Jane Austen. I'm not big on Jane Austen. Um, I know, shocking, sorry. I don't have anything against it. I'm just, um, just never have. <laughs> so this was something new. And um, it's a beautiful kit. It is huge beautiful of course it's tsunami rose so it's always beautiful so before i forget tsunami rose have moved to her own um website it's tsunami rose.net i'm going to put all the links down in the description below i believe she still has her sale going on but don't quote me um i believe if you buy 50 dollars or more you get 50 percent off so i'm not sure it's still running but check it out just to make sure because I took advantage of that last year and huh, I was so happy I did. Um, and that was before I was even on the, on the design team. So anyway, we got all the business out the way. Let's show you the journal. So I made this journal using a file folder, but I use, I have all these Heidi Swap folders from back in the day that I'm hoarding. So I decided to bring one out. Um, because I wasn't doing a lot of decorating, I thought I would use a file folder with a decorative edge. So it has these cute little scallops. And it's, it was already decorated. Um, it has this beautiful music and it says beautiful song at the top. And um, I stitched it so I could have pockets. You guys know I love my big pockets at the top. So, and I, let me just tell you what I have on before I open it up. I have this um, kind of gold-ish sheer ribbon i don't know if this is called organza or what I don't, i'm not really good at that kind of stuff and then i have this beautiful trim down at the bottom and then i have a really thin lace on the spine i wanted to keep it not so busy because i was doing so much fussy cutting and i didn't want to cover it so yeah i fussy cut a lot <laughs> in this journal um, I fussy cut this out from the paper and then I added some stickles in certain spots and I fussy cut her out with all the trimmings that was at the bottom and I don't know if you could see the stickles but I just stickled this a little bit give it a little sparkle here and there okay and so let's open her up so I have the pockets here and then I just used um end up using a page that I cut down because I printed too many of my page so I just cut it down so you have this huge journal spot here so you guys know my stitching is not the best but um and I don't know my, my sewing machine it has been giving me the business lately so we've been fighting she's been winning though <laughs> So here's the other pocket. So lots of lots of journaling space. Like there is journaling space. You can use this for a long time, for many Christmases. Okay, so of course I can't get her back in here. 
Okay, there we go. She's in there enough for now. All right. All right, so we open her up, and here is the inside of the fall bowl that I just left it because it's so pretty the way it is. And I added a lot of her ephemera that I stitched. I'll just take this one off because otherwise we'll be here all day if I take them all off. So I just backed them on cardstock and stitched them. I did a little bit of stamping. So this one says Cherish. Some coffee dyed paper with some stenciling. I have to do some more. My, I'm using up a lot of my stencil coffee dyed paper and I have to make some more which now is the perfect time because the weather's cold and the heat is on, so I could take advantage. Some ledger paper. This is um, some onion skin paper. And then I did a little lace on here. This is um, coffee dye. I can't remember. I can't remember what kind of paper that is. A little bit of stamping here. Uh, coffee dye doily. Um... Here's a more of her, um, geez, you guys know, ephemera. Some graph paper, music note paper. So I left some of it, you know, plain for you to do your own thing. Some um, tracing paper. And then I did some stamping on some of them. I wanted to keep it, you know, it's very elegant, so I didn't want to use any of my, like, cutesy stamps. Here's another um, lace. Look at the stitching. How in the world do I get all the way over here? I don't know. <sighs> I don't know. One of these days, well, I'm not going to say one of these days because it's probably never going to happen. <laughs> so I've just accepted the fact that my stitching will be wonky. Um, yeah, I wanted to keep it really elegant. Here's some of the tags with some pretty Christmas ribbon. I did not print the to-do list and the calendar because I ran out of ink. The ink's supposed to come today. But if you would like me to print you some of the to-do list and the calendar pages, let me know. I'll be happy to do that. And I'll add it into your goodie bag with the rest of the ephemera that will come along with this kit. So yeah, the ink is supposed to arrive today. I was printing like a mad woman. So <laughs> the ink ran out faster than it, it was um, able to ship. Again, I fussy cut this out and I made a pocket here in the middle. So you have spaces to add whatever you want. I left this a little long in case you had something you wanted to attach. I thought I had um, some little Christmas trees, but I can't find them. Little Christmas tree punch, but I can't find them. So anyway, there's another lady that I fussy cut. Here's another stamp. Says Joy. It's another stencil page. I love this flower stencil. I love it so much. One of these days, I hope to um, have some of that coffee dyed paper with the stencil in my shop. It's just so much work, you guys. <laughs> it's so much work. It's another poinsettia um Stamp up here yeah it's a lot of work it takes a lot of time to do it so I don't know we'll see it's another stencil here you can see it better on the side some more tracing paper on the other side other side of the music sheet craft paper Oh, did I? Oh, okay. It's okay. I was like, did I put her put them in here twice? But I see. One is the graph paper and one is not. It's another faint one. So lots of lots of lots of journaling space. It's another tag. Another tag here. And then I fussy cut her out and added her here in the back. And that is it. So really simple, but I think still super cute. Let me get this. Okay. It's annoying me. It wouldn't 
I had to put it all the way back in there. So super cute, I think. Um, let me know what you guys think. Um, I did put a little shimmer. It's like a gold shimmer on her as well. Um, you know, just to dress it up because it's such an elegant kit. I wanted to keep up the elegance, but I didn't want to overdo it, you know, with decorating because, I don't know, it just, to me, it wasn't calling for lots of stuff. <laughs> but, you know, that's just me. So, anyway, this will be listed in my Etsy shop. Um, probably once this video is uploaded, I already done the pictures. I just have to upload the video, and that will be it. So, you guys, if I don't hear from you, um, and I probably won't because um, I'll be super busy. Got to pick up the last of the Thanksgiving groceries today. And, um, yeah, got a lot of people to feed. So, I got to get busy and make sure I have everything. Because if I don't get everything today, whatever I don't have, oh, well. <laughs> because I'm not going out anymore. It's a madhouse in those grocery stores. Anyway. Sorry, just had to ramble a little bit. So anyway, if I don't hear from you, have a wonderful Thanksgiving if you do celebrate. And if not, just have a wonderful uh, rest of your week. And I will see you guys after the holiday. So until then, have a great one. And thanks so much for watching. Bye.